There are many weapons within Aliens Fireteam Elite and with five different classes in the base game, each one has access to a set of specific weapons. You can level up weapons to four stars and unlock hidden perks that make them more effective. But I'm finally done leveling up all 30 weapons to four stars. Because there is a class system in the game, each character will have access to specific types of weapons. Not everyone can use a pulse rifle, sniper rifle, shotgun, or magnum pistol. I want to take this time to go over my experience about which weapons I found were effective or fun to use on intense difficulty. And with that, you'll get an idea of other weapons that were not fun to use, mainly because they were not as good as the ones I liked. So let's begin. The Gunner class is meant for rapid fire damage. Their overclock ability allows them to increase their fire rate tremendously. All weapons get this effect, but certain weapons will excel at this. The mod I have on the grenade will cause a knockdown. This buys my team more time to do damage. The M42A3 sniper rifle hits really hard for a bullet based weapon that shoots with a single shot. You cannot go wrong with this, but the smaller magazine size will lead to more frequent reloading. When you use overclock, your reload speed also increases. It's pretty good for this class. This gets you a lot of damage in a very quick amount of time, providing you can keep up with the reload animation in between. If you're willing to sacrifice damage over a larger magazine size, you can try the Twilight V4. It doesn't hit as hard, but if you need more shots before your reload animation kicks in, you can give this one a shot. If you're not a fan of sniper rifles, then the M42 A2 Scout Rifle is almost as good as those two weapons. It does have a high amount of damage for a single shot, so that one is pretty good. Some of you might not like single shot weapons and you prefer a burst fire weapon. Well, the AM16 Grappa has a high magazine size with decent damage. It also has the benefit of having automatic fire, which means you just hold down the button and the shots will continuously fire. The recoil is also very manageable. If you want a good automatic rifle, just try the Kramer Assault Rifle. It's got some great damage, a large magazine size, but a little recoil to it. The standard pulse rifle is also good, but for myself, I prefer the Kramer when it comes to automatic rifles. What about your secondary weapon? Well, let's talk about the Type 76 Auto Shotgun. This was the best weapon I used for this class. With the right attachment, you can get it up to 20 shots per magazine. And the automatic fire during overclock turns this thing into a beast of a weapon. Just have someone stun the target, then activate overclock and unload every shot you can. This weapon is going to melt during overclock. Just make sure you first cause a knockdown or stun effect, activate overclock and then unload every shot you can. It's that easy. The Demolisher class is designed for area or radius damage. The micro rockets can be adjusted for damage or knockdown effects. Blast Wave is good for close range crowd control. As for the primary weapon, I was using the M42A2 Scout Rifle a lot more than anything else. The standard pulse rifle is also good, but for this class, the scout rifle gave me the best results. Onto the heavy weapons. The smart gun is good for groups of smaller enemies, but on larger enemies, I did pretty well with the Vulcan flamethrower. Just watch out for the friendly fire. The impact grenade launcher did help me in some places. You just have to learn to aim with those arcing shots. But the worst weapon here is the M95 grenade launcher. This thing is not worth using. Just avoid this entirely. The M12 RPG launcher got me excited for its damage, but it's a single shot weapon, so I was not impressed. The M12A1 rocket launcher is also good, just don't hurt your team with it. You can increase the blast radius and damage on some heavy weapons, but you run a bigger risk of hurting your team even more, so it's really up to you. Now let's move over to the technician class. Their abilities are placing a turret which has three variations. Each one is good against certain types of enemies. I mostly use the incinerator for dealing with lots of aliens. The charged coils stick to enemies or surfaces, their electrical effect will slow enemies that step into that radius, and they are affected by it for a short time after. The Kramer 50 Magnum is good for single, long range, high damaging rounds. It's also good for headshots. The other choice is the Rapid Responder. It's got a good fire rate with shots that spread, 
The reload is also pretty quick, so either one of these two weapons is decent for this class. The technician's secondary weapons are all based on close range combat. There's a good number of weapons to choose from, but only four of them were good for me. We have the M37A3 pump shotgun. If this is all you have when you start off, it will serve you well. Then there is the Type 21 tactical shotgun. You can't go wrong with this one. And later on, you can unlock the Type 76 auto shotgun as a random reward for completing missions. But if you want some area damage, the Type 99 incinerator is really strong on aliens. Just watch out for friendly fire. And here is the Doc class. It specializes in support and healing. The trauma station relies on energy supplied by picking up medkits. It's a way to heal your team within a radius. The combat sims will increase your accuracy, stability, stamina regen, and movement speed for a short time for you and your nearby teammates. The primary weapons I used with the Doc class were the M42A3 sniper rifle for its very high damage and the M42A2 scout rifle. Both weapons have great damage and they can stun an enemy for a short time. Since the dock is meant for support, I found the stun effect is more helpful for my team compared to the other weapons on the list. For the secondary weapons, the best ones for me were the Kramer 50 Magnum and the Rapid Responder. Either one is good for intense difficulty runs. The Recon class is all about scanning targets with a little bit of support. The Standard Pup is the best one for scanning multiple targets from long range. Enemies appear with red outlines from a long distance or behind a wall. The support drone has a radius, so stand in it to heal yourself with each kill. It also drops ammo magazines for your weapons. The best weapons I used for this class are single shot based weapons like the M42A2 scout rifle or the M42A3 sniper rifle. The reason for this is there are a few mods that boost long range damage and if you only have time for one big shot you want the most damage or bonus perks from it. Now mods like down range will increase your long range damage by 20% so the further you are the more damage you will do up to 20%. Got your back. When you kill an enemy that is attacking or focused on one of your teammates, both you and your fire team will refill their equipped gun. So the way this works is try to stand behind your team during specific shootouts. This way enemies have a bigger chance of focusing on your teammates so you can get a chance of getting that bonus perk. So that sums it up. Those are the best weapons that I used for each class. I hope this guide helps you on your way through intense difficulty, but if you find something else that works for you, then use that instead. Everyone plays differently, so my method does not mean it's the main way to play, but it's a way that is highlighting the benefits that classes can excel at based on the role or set of mods. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.